Stop each walking and rushing, man, like it's out the dark. Call me no snatcher. Just a brother for the rapture. I hang live, holding on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, reservate the track and it's militant. And I react like a corn and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my sake of the life. What's going on guys? It's your boy Naruto Explained here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the manga, and today we're going to be looking at more of the fallout from Boruto Chapter 67, but this time we're going to be focusing on Boruto Uzumaki and the future of his Borushiki transformation. As we all know, after the last Boruto manga chapter, Boruto Uzumaki found himself being revived by Momoshiki, but the method of revival came at the expense of Momoshiki ever being able to resurrect from death using Boruto's body ever again. Now this led to the question of does this mean that Boruto is now completely free of Momoshiki's influence? Does this mean that Boruto never has to worry about Momoshiki taking over his body again? Now I will say that this is definitely a good question and while the answer could be very complicated if we look too deeply into it, I think the answer is right there in front of our faces and I think it's very simple. Momoshiki chose his words to Boruto very carefully. He said that he couldn't resurrect using his body ever again, but he did say that Boruto's body still serves as a container for Momoshiki's soul, which is going to be key when you look at the wording because we have to look at that very specifically. Momoshiki's soul still resides inside of Boruto, which opens up the door for Momoshiki being able to take over Boruto's body again. The best way I can explain this in the simplest ways possible is think of Boruto's body like a car. On most occasions, Boruto is the one operating the car. Just as when you have a long road trip and you get too sleepy to drive, you might let someone else take over the driving. In the case of Boruto, once his chakra levels drop too low, that opens up the door for Momoshiki being able to take over his body again. Sticking with the car analogy, Momoshiki giving up the remaining 18% of his DNA to rebuild Boruto's heart and lungs to prevent him from dying resulted in Momoshiki losing the ability to resurrect inside of Boruto's body and take full ownership. That's the same as signing over a car title to somebody you no longer own the car. You will relinquish all rights to it, which is what Momoshiki just did with Boruto's body. The best he can hope for is the opportunity to operate Boruto's body occasionally, but he will never be the sole owner of it anymore. Now, I personally think that this is going to end up being really good writing for a few different reasons. You have Boruto right now currently thinking that he is free of Momoshiki, when in reality, He's only free of Momoshiki being able to revive using his body. If nobody catches the true meaning of Momoshiki's words, then this opens up the door for Boruto to be the one to recall what Momoshiki said about his soul. Once we have an instance of Momoshiki taking over Boruto's body and potentially harming a loved one or directly taking over midway through a battle. That's a really great conflict right there. It continues to build on the narrative of Boruto has a destiny to defy and has to walk his own path forward. It's bad enough that he's literally no longer human despite his human appearance making you think otherwise, but now he's still burdened with the fate of sharing his body with Momoshiki, having to be cognizant of his chakra reserves inside of his body because at any given moment, if they drop too low, this can result in an instance where Momoshiki can take over control of his body and potentially harm those who he cares about. It continues to add to the concept that Naruto's manga has always practiced this, which is that the belief that a ninja must always learn to see past deceptions. Whenever someone speaks or whenever they act, there is a hidden meaning behind a hidden meaning, which makes the dynamic between Boruto and Momoshiki feel very earned in my opinion. Boruto has done a halfway decent job of not making it too overly obvious to most people around him that this is something that concerned him, but those who knew him very well and those who confided in him, they all knew the truth. After Boruto destroyed Sasuke's Rinnegan, Boruto was antagonized by what occurred to the point where it hit him like a ton of bricks all at once. He could be used to harm those who he cared about. It moved from being something that was a strong possibility that could one day happening, which is why before Ishiki's invasion, he told Sasuke to kill him if it ever happened again. But the moment he saw Sasuke's Rinnegan was destroyed, Boruto quickly realized that this was no longer a probable possibility. This was now something that had indeed happened and it would happen 
yet again in the future. Boruto is shown losing sleep over this reality, playing video games at all hours of the night to keep his mind too busy to focus on the truth, keeping his mind stimulated enough that he couldn't fall asleep. The small touches to the story that the anime added that weren't in the manga went a long way towards humanizing Boruto as a character after the scene took place. It made the moment where Boruto was willing to go to sleep when he was in his father's arms so heartbreaking because it showed that this 13 year old child, potentially 14, depending on how you interpret a model's line in the manga, about six months having passed, but this child felt safe only when he was in his father's arms and only felt safe enough to go to sleep when that happened. Removing the threat of Momoshiki taking over his body for good is one thing. It eliminates a threat that needed to be resolved, which is Boruto becoming 100% Otsutsuki and Momoshiki reviving, and it did so in a way to where the payoff is earned and it didn't feel like an ass pull. But keeping the risk of Momoshiki briefly controlling Boruto's body is grounds for more potential conflict. Boruto now has the knowledge on how to prevent this from taking place as well. His chakra levels, they can't drop below a certain point, which means that his training with Sasuke is going to be very similar to what Naruto's training was with Jiraiya, and I'll explain to you how. People often critique Jiraiya as being a bad teacher because Naruto hardly learned anything, and I think that the blame is being grossly misplaced towards Jiraiya. What people tend to overlook is that Naruto was so utterly bad at the basics of using chakra and ninja elements that Jiraiya basically had to teach Naruto all over again from scratch over the two and a half year time skip on top of occasionally trying to teach him to use the QB chakra, which we know that he failed at, and then he had to teach him how to make a giant Rasengan. Well, in the case of Boruto, he isn't as talentless as Naruto was. In fact, it's quite the opposite. He's brim filled with talent to a point to where he's basically a baby Minato, and depending on how you look at his progress, he might even be more talent than Minato ever was. However, as Sasuke noted in the Momoshiki arc and as Kishimoto stated in 2015, Boruto is too smart for his own good. Boruto finds the fastest path towards learning ninjutsu and achieving his goals to the point where because he knows the shortcuts, he doesn't work hard at the basics and to an extent, the basics aren't something that he's as refined at. Sasuke told him that he needed to learn the basics of lightning release before he could be taught higher level lightning release jutsu. Kakashi made Boruto relearn the basics of the Rasengan, despite the fact that Boruto had already created his own Rasengan with a lightning change in chakra nature before, something that Kakashi and Minato both were never able to accomplish despite both of them being a genius. The pattern is still there that Boruto has this as a tragic flaw. He's blessed with talent, but because he's so blessed, some of the basics need to be retaught to him because he was basically able to skip right over them, or he didn't have to focus as much on the basics. Boruto's like that kid that you see at the gym, they're shooting all these shots from way beyond the three-point line, and then you look at it and they got bad form. The shot's still going in, but they have bad technique. You gotta rebuild their shooting motion. It's the same thing with Boruto when it comes to certain aspects of his character. Boruto already has good chakra control, but he's going to need top tier chakra control so he can, moving forward, use high level ninjutsu without wasting any chakra and maximize his chakra usage. He can't afford to waste chakra now. He's going to have to learn how to use high level jutsu with only the bare minimum chakra required. He's going to have to train his body and his mind so he can raise his chakra levels. And he's going to have to keep a mental check on where that line is that he can't drop below before Momoshiki takes over his body. This one seeming betrayal by Momoshiki in his dialogue changes everything. In my opinion, it changes everything for the better. However, I want to know from you guys, do you guys still think that Momoshiki can take over Boruto's body? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.